Hi, welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we will talk about one of our own built software to plot the MD simulation data that is coming from the Gromex. The name of this tool is Gromancer. We hope so that this Gromancer will be very helpful for you to plot the MD simulation data. Currently, the community is using XM Grace or the Excel to plot the MD simulation data. There are many limitations to plot the data on the Excel or XM Grace. Therefore, we have built this software. We have provided the Gromancer installable file along with this video tutorial in the resource section. Please download it and extract it. Once you will extract it, then you are going to have this folder of Gromancer. Please double click on it and when you will double click on it, then inside the folder you are going to find out the Gromancer installable file. Please keep it into mind that currently the Gromancer is only installable on the Windows operating system. We are currently building the Gromancer for the Mac and the Ubuntu operating systems as well. And as it will be ready, we will update you. To install the Gromancer in your system, please double click on this exe file. Once you will double click on this exe file, then the installation wizard will appear in front of you. Please accept the agreement and click on the next, then the next. If you want to create a desktop shortcut, then click on this checkbox and then hit the next button. After it, please hit on the install button and once you will hit the install button, then the Gromancer will be installed in your system. Once the Gromancer will be installed in your system, please hit the finish button to close this installation wizard. Now when you will come back to the desktop, then you can see the Gromancer icon on your desktop. Please double click on it to open the Gromancer. When you will double click on it, then the Gromancer will appear in front of you. Here, on this graphical user interface of the Gromancer, you can see the 8 different buttons, including the RMSD, RMSF, radius of gyration, SASA, hydrogen bond, ligand torsion, interaction energies, and the PCA. Please let us tell you that the Gromancer is under active development, and very soon we will add the more functionalities in this tool. Now let's try to understand it that how you can use that tool. We hope so that up till this point you guys know it very well that the MD simulation analysis normally results in the production of XBG files. And normally we use the XBG files in XM Grace or the Excel to plot the MD simulation data. This Gromancer sports the XBG files. Let's upload the XBG files for RMSD analysis. To perform the RMSD analysis, please click here on this RMSD button. When you will click here on this RMSD button, then this button will turn to green. And then you are also going to find out a small pop-up message in front of you. This pop-up message is letting you know about the different commands that you can use to perform the RMSD analysis in the Gromix. Please click here OK to close this box. After this, now you need to upload the XPG files. To upload the XPG files, please click here on this upload. When you will click here on this upload, then this window will pop up in front of you. Please navigate to the directory where your XPG files are present. Currently, our XPG files are present on our desktop and in a Gromancer folder. Inside the Gromancer folder, we have an XPG files for RMSD analysis in our RMSD folder. We will go to the RMSD folders and we will select the RMSD files. After selecting the RMSD files, we will click on the open. Once you will click on the open, then this dialog box will appear in front of you. This dialog box will giving you an opportunity to change the name of the uploaded files. Keep it into mind that these names will appear as a legend on the graphs. Let's assume for a moment that we don't want to have .xvg on our plot. So what we will do, we will remove the xvg. We will click on the OK now. Then the second dialog box will appear in front of us. This second dialog box is corresponding to your second RMSD file. Once again, we don't want to have the XVG on our plot. So what we are going to do, we are going to remove .xvg from here. Then we will click on OK. After clicking on OK, then this dialog box will appear in front of us. This dialog box is letting us know that currently we are going to plot the RMSD data of the two RMSD files. After it, please click on OK. Once you will click on OK, then the Analyze Data button will turn into green. Now, hit the Analyze Data button. Once you will hit the Analyze Data button, then the plots of the both RMSD files will appear in front of you. 
as you can see it here that the legends on the plots are here as rmst underscore one and rmst underscore two above this plot there are the different functionalities that you can use one of the functionality which is pretty important for the use is this arrow button when you will click on this arrow button then this dialog box will appear in front of you this dialog box is giving you the liberty to change the many things on the plot for example, you want to change the title of the plot. Currently, the title of the plot is RMST Analysis. Let's say that we want to change it as RMST only. So what we will do, we will just remove the analysis and then we will click on the apply. As you can see it here that the title of the plot is now changed from RMST analysis to simple RMST. Let's explore some more functionality of this arrow button. Now here you can also see the x-axis options and the y-axis options. The x-axis options and the y-axis options are giving you the liberty to change the axis on the x-axis and the y-axis. As you can see it here that by default currently the x-axis minimum value is set as minus 5. Let's say that you want to set the minimum value of a zero. So let's change it to the zero and the maximum value of the x-axis, let's set it to the hundred. After this, click on the apply. And once you will hit on the apply button, then you can see that the axis value on an x-axis are changed. The same you can do for the y-axis as well. So let's assume for a moment that we want to set the minimum value of the zero on a y-axis and maximum value of 0 0.40. So let's change these values and click on apply. Once you will click on apply, then you can see it here that the y axis values are changed. Along with this axis, you are also going to have the curve button. This curve button will help you to do the lot of the stuff with your curves. Let's explore the one of the most important things here. Let's assume for a moment that currently you are not interested with the blue color of RMST1. You want to change it to something different. So what you will do, you will click here on this color dot and then from here on this menu, you can pick any color of your own choice. For example, currently we are interested to give it, it a light green color. So what we will do, we will select the light green color and we will hit the OK. And when we will hit the apply, then you can see it here that on the graph, the RMSD1 curve is now colored as green. If you want to save this plot for the publication, then what you can do? you can simply hit on the save button. And when you will hit on the save button, then this menu will pop up in front of you. And this is asking you that from where you want to save your figure. Let's assume for a moment that currently we want to save our image on the desktop. And let's name it as a figure one. Currently, by default, if you look at save as type, so then this figure will be saved as PNG. But if you will click on this drop down menu, then you can see the multiple different type of the formats in which you can save your figure. Let's save is currently as PNG. When you will hit the save button, then this image will be saved at your desktop, as you can see it here. Just double click on this figure. When you will click here on this image, then you can see your image that is saved at your desktop. If you will zoom in, so then you can see it here that the pixels of this image is not going to be broken down. It means that this image is a very good quality and you can use this image for the publication purposes. Like the RMST analysis, there are the many other type of the analysis that the Gurmenser can support. Please keep it into mind that, that the Gurmenser is under development. And if you find out any issue with this tool, please do let us know. We will try our level best to make it better for you. Please don't hesitate to use the other functionalities of the Gurmenser as well. We will wait for your feedback.